good morning to one and all um today we are continuing the topic of um, idea generation introduction concept okay today we are uh, discussing the topic that is nothing but uh, scamper technique we are uh, we are seen actually what are the tools and techniques for uh, generating um, uh, ideas okay what are the tools and techniques for generating uh, new ideas uh, to to get uh, to become uh, for getting uh, a new uh, solution for a particular uh, product okay this is the one of the technique uh, that is a very important technique uh, scamper technique uh, what technique uh, scamper the name says uh, what does uh, scamper look at this the scamper technique is nothing but this technique is created by bob eberly who ma this technique will created bomb eberly and it is a one type of method this scamper technique is a, a method it is used for the problem solving already we seen a design thinking is the prob is the process of uh, problem solving okay like the scamper technique it is a method um, used for a problem solving and uh, creative thinking in the sense we are getting some new ideas about that uh, product or whatever it may be okay we are creating a creative a new thing okay new thing okay it is nothing but scamper technique it is a method used for problem solving and creative thinking so uh, it's a, a holistic way it's a one type of way um, of applying a critical thinking uh, we we want to uh, modify the ideas um, and concepts or we can say processes that already uh, exist okay this is the concept of uh, scamper technique uh, what i meant to say in this sense it is a holistic way of applying a uh, critical thinking what we want to do th to edit ideas and the concepts or we can say processes that already exist the scamper name says what does it exactly if you have to look at this diagram yes in the sense substitute and c in the sense combine and a in the sense adapt m in the sense modify p in the sense put to another use and finally if you have to see the last two letters e in the sense if you have to eliminate or in the sense if you have to reverse that one okay scamper the name says what exactly if you have to substitute and then combine if we have to adapt the product and we have we have to do modify the ideas what are the concepts if we have to put to another use and finally if we have to uh, um, eliminate and we have to reverse the product if you are getting some new ideas this is the uh, scamper technique it's a method used for problem solving and creative a uh, thinking okay now we have to see what does exactly substitute okay substitution technique you refers to replacing a part of your product concept or processes with another to achieve even better outcome what i mean to say exactly in the sense this technique you refers um, to replacing a part of your a particular a product uh, and concepts uh, with uh, the purpose of another use we have to achieve the better outcome okay this is nothing but substitute and then scamper c what the c sense says that c term says that combine what if we have to combine combine is a technique the combine technique if we have to explore the possibility uh, to combine two ideas into a single one okay if we have to get some two ideas if we have to clumps that in the sense we have to combine two ideas into a single one okay and a more effective a solution okay what i mean to say in the sense the uh, combined technique 
explores the possibility we want to combine our two ideas into a single one and we can get some more effective a uh, solution and then scamper yes e c and then a what a says adapt what if we have to adapt the technique use what that adaptation analyzes the possibilities adaptation analyzes the possibilities if we have to make the process more flexible what i mean to say uh, if we have to analyze the what are the possibilities uh, to make the process a more flexible and it focuses on other similar incremental improvements okay what similar in the sense same same incremental improvements uh, to the particular idea um, process or we can say one more name a concept okay so what i mean to say in the sense adaptation analyzes the possibilities we want to make the particular process it should be a more flexible and it focuses on other similar uh, incremental improvements uh, we are getting some new ideas about that particular product what that process um, or concepts already exist okay so and fine and fourth one you can say scamper yes c a m m in the sense modify what you have you to modify the ideas also if we have to edit modifying the ideas looks once the problem what that problem modifying the idea looks at the problem or whatever it may be opportunity uh, from a bigger perspective view and it aims for improving the overall results not just the idea okay listen carefully what i mean to say otherwise you can't able to understand this point if we have to modify the idea looks at the particular problem or opportunity from a bigger perspective so and it aims for improving the overall results not just the idea what i mean to say what that uh, um, innovation uh, strategies uh, in the sense we want to uh, create uh, if we have to a plan of action if we have to design to achieve um, a long term a uh, process or concepts okay this is the this is the scam s c a m and then if we have to learn about uh, p e r p in the sense put to another use what is the purpose of this one in the sense um this approach and uh, this in this this approach uh, this put to another use in the sense this approach focuses on a uh, finding ways what are the ways if we have to search to use the um, ideas it becomes particular for uh, existing solution for the purpose of uh, another usage and if we have to analyze the possible benefits uh, of that particular product if we have to applied the other parts of the business this is the concept of put to another use and sixth one if we have to scamper p e or p in the sense put to another use okay and then eliminate what if we have to eliminate the technique eliminate in the sense it is the one type of technique it is quite straight forward technique what technique the eliminate technique is quite straight forward what it what does it examines in the sense the possible outcomes what are the future outcomes if one or more parts of the concept were eliminated listen carefully what i mean to say elimination technique is a straight forward technique what does it examine the possible outcomes in the sense if one or more parts of the concepts were eliminated and finally scam or or, or in the sense reverse reverse in the sense this action what it does represents in the sense it focuses on um, reversing the order of uh, inter changeable elements what if we have to done here the action what does the action uh, event uh, focuses on mm, reversing the order of uh, interchangeable elements uh, of an idea okay if you get some idea if we have to interchangeable that particular elements if we have to keep them it in uh, reversing the order of interchangeable elements of an particular idea 
so uh, if you ha- in- include uh, in a scamper technique if you have to include what is opposite thinking and what is analogy thinking it's very very th- important uh, uh, definition so what is opposite thinking in the sense if we have to think like opposite way okay opposite in the sense in one more name if we have to call it, it as a reverse thinking okay opposite thinking is also known as reverse thinking it is also a one type of technique that can uh, help you question uh, long held assumptions if you get some assumption that uh, it becomes a very long okay so it is the purpose of related to your business purposes it's it is it's a very useful tool um, to consider if you feel your team is stuck um, with the conventional mindset and coming up with those out of the box ideas so it seems to be a difficult oftenly what i mean to say in the sense if we have to finding the best solution are not found through a linear thought process so what i mean to say in the sense it is a useful tool to consider if you feel your a team is stuck with the conventional mindset and coming with those out of these box ideas it seems to be a difficult so oftenly what i mean to say in the sense finding the best solution uh, are not found through a linear thought process now coming to the definition of analogy thinking if we have to think uh, some analytically okay in the sense it is also a one type of technique analogy thinking is a technique for using the information uh, from one source uh, to solve a, a particular problem in another context what i mean to say in the sense analogy thinking is also a one type of technique for using uh, uh, information or data from one source uh, to solve a, a problem in another context oftenly we can get we, what we want to say in the sense one solution to a problem um, it can be uh, used to solve another problem okay one solution uh, to a problem it can be used to solve another problem it is the concept of uh, analogy thinking okay first of all if we have to ideate what that problem ideate is the mode in which radical design uh, it is a design process concentrated on that uh, what the ideas all generated what does we mean to say ideation is the process of uh, uh it's a process of uh, thinking something new ideas for a wide range of uh, concepts and outcomes so uh, the goal of ideation in the sense what that achievement what that main aim of ideation in the sense is to explore a wide solution space okay so both in terms of large quantity and broad diversity of ideas one member have different idea another member have different idea if you have to combine these ideas both its best solution you can get it if if, if you put to another usage okay so finally if you have to prototype it can be built and tested with users um from this uh, vast repository of ideas so we can say these are the ideation is nothing but if we have to think uh, innovatively okay now what if we have to managing the ideas although um if we have to uh, generating the ideas is oftenly the easy part of innovation uh, collecting and managing them it can be challenging without a proper tool because people often come up with a new ideas then and there they should be able to collect these ideas right when they arise what if we have to said uh, to manage ideas in the sense exactly if we have to generating uh, something uh, um new ideas uh, is oftenly easy part of uh, innovation we are creating some new ideas about a particular task so we are collecting and we are managing them it can be you, you are talking a challenging way without a, a proper a tool okay this is the 
concept of how we can manage these ideas we can able to collect these particular ideas right now so the finally we can see what is the idea management tool in the sense as idea management um, is such a vast topic ma idea management okay uh, if you have to think about a larger companies are always uh, going to have thousands of ideas if you have to get it uh, in your mindset um if you have you, you the topic um, the larger companies are always going to have thousands of ideas or hundreds of ideas they get okay using you can uh, you, you can using it Uh, it can uh, dedicated manner okay um, it's nothing but uh, using a dedicated idea management tool so oftenly it makes sense for the most companies what does it needs okay what i mean to say in the sense the larger companies are always thinking the greater ideas about like uh, thousands of ideas uh, at that mindset we are using a dedicated uh, idea management tool so oftenly it makes uh, the sense for uh, the most companies what are the techniques uh, we are used in uh, ideation purpose okay what i mean to say in the sense these are the following techniques are used in ideation so if you have to try uh, multiple ideation methods with the team and if you have to see which work is best okay so uh, be aware of the less confident people in the team and then if we have to uh, they get some ideas it comes easier when people uh, don't fear that uh, particular criticism so ideation sessions should be short and energetic and it should be a uh, fun so uh, take a break and uh, try something else if ideas start to a uh, dry up these techniques are used in ideation purpose so what i mean to say in the sense how the ideation can help in the sense ideation can help by the following techniques what in the sense if you have first one listen carefully ask the right question and if you have to innovate it next step if you have to beyond the obvious solution and uh, therefore increase the innovation a uh, potential of your solution bring together what are the perspectives and what are the strengths of a team a members okay and then fourth one if you have to uncover unexpected areas of uh, innovation okay and then fifth one we if we have to create your volume and variety in your innovation uh, options okay if you have get if you have uh, to get the obvious solutions out of your heads and if you have to drive your team it beyond them what i mean to say in the sense if you have to take one team in that team some 10 members of people are there in 10 members particularly if you have to take one member that one member have different ideas uh, different strength okay different perspectives they get something about a particular product or whatever it may be concept so with a systematic approach if you have to get some new idea ideas about that particular product okay the designers what they do need need not rely on upcoming with a good idea yet a right moment so the solutions can be systematically elaborated okay what the solutions can be systematically elaborated by using the relevant techniques okay this is the concept of uh, mm, ideation uh, techniques okay later we can uh, discuss what are the succeeding with idea generation uh, uh, factors okay up to now thank you ma if you have any doubts can you please contact to me